Alright everybody, already introduced to you uh, uh, something about directives. These are called preprocessor directives. I might have mentioned that they were preprocessing directives, but they're called preprocessor directives. But I, I uh, showed you a define last time briefly. And um, I told you before that uh, this will I'm gonna let you uh, have the whole spew on the define there's a lot you can do with the define but I'm not gonna be able to explain everything because you can do some macros with define but we're only gonna cover just a couple basic things on this define but there's there's uh, quite a bit more to it than what I'm gonna show you in this video but I'm gonna uh, explain this as much as I can in this video so right, let's get started so let's say I use the uh, directive define and I'm gonna pick a word in this case I'm gonna call it me in me I have to use a space and I'm gonna type in something like a uh, 2.718 or something and as I showed before I'm gonna output me and let's see what gets printed to the screen and I better use a quote or, or a, a semicolon that way it can compile and you can see what's going on and it prints 2.718 now understand that this is not a variable no it's not like an int this is definitely not an int or a double I mean this now it is now I have to use a semicolon and it's a global variable and I'd have to use the equal but this is not a variable well, it is now it's a variable this right here in this case is a variable but when I use this this is not a variable what happens this because what happens um, when you press the play button the compile button there's some things running in the background that happens before it compiles your code and one of those things is it's going to look through these preprocessor uh, commands and uh, that's why they're called preprocessor commands because they take care of these things first before they take care of anything else now this one in particular this define preprocessor directive um, will actually take the, every tech it'll actually change your code but you won't actually see it change but it does actually change the code and so in this in this case for every time it sees the letters ME back to back me it's gonna replace it with 2.718 in this situation I can make it anything I want it's, in this case it's gonna actually replace it with the word um, water and in fact I can get rid of this thing well there's going to be some kind of compiler error I'm going to replace it with this now watch and it works look at this here because what it's going to do it's going to take the word me and it's going to replace it with this portion here see that it just replaces it with the exact text that's what it does and we have defined it. That's what we do. We defined the word me. And it doesn't always work. I tried a couple things. I tried doing this. Um, what did I try to do? Oh yeah, we don't even need this anymore. We, we can actually get rid of this. Because there's already a semicolon here. Actually, let me show you. And you already seen it. water now whether I got rid of this here I'd have to put it down here for it to work successfully alright and there's a couple other things I tried but they didn't quite work but it's not divine it's this this defined thing is not designed for you to be trying to make it see if it works because I was trying that earlier now uh, generally people put these in caps I don't know why 
but uh, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna go with the flow. Most books that you'll that describe this stuff, and most of the things that you find online will have these in caps, capital letters. Well, so me can be defined as anything. I can just even type in this, and it would uh, output things. Just you know, just anything. But I'm not gonna do that. The fact is, is that me is defined. Let me see what time I'm at. Five minutes. Okay. And uh, so this is one of the tools that we're going to be using when we start working with our classes here at the top that we've seen in the last couple of videos. Okay. So what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm going to end this video. Yeah, because uh, there's there's more to talk about. But basically, um, there's not much you can do with this yet. But uh, we're going to learn a couple more um, um, things with the define and a couple more uh, uh, directives. So I'm going to end this right now, and we're going to end it short and sweet.